here is the question for single channel giving system that is a small grocery store has only one checkout counter the customer arrives at this checkout counter at random from 1 to 8 minute apart each possible values of service time has some probability of occurrence the service time varies from 1 to 6 minute apart for each possible values develop a simulation distribution table for eight customers random digit for arrival time are given here random digit for service time are given here now count the number of random digits for arrival time and random digit for service time write it down these are nine terms and these are 10 this will help you in the solution okay now let's move on to the solution this is the first step in the solution that is determine inter arrival time distribution table here we need four columns they are customer numbers probability cumulative probability random digit assignment in the question they are mentioned the customer arrives at this checkout counter at random from 1 to 8 minute apart so we are writing the customer number for inter arrival time from 1 to 8 minute now the probability for each customer is 1 by 8 so the decimal value of 1 by 8 is 0.125 so i am writing 0.125 for all the customers next the cumulative probability formula is here that is cumulative probability is equals to probability plus previous cumulative probability that is uh, for first customer first we need to consider probability that is 0.125 plus there is no previous pro cumulative probability so zero so the value will, will be same 0.125 next 0.125 plus 0.125 then the value is 0.250 next the value is 0.375 0.500 0.650 0.750 0.875 1.000 there is a another simple way to calculate cumulative probability that is जो पहला वैल्यू है उसको क्यूमलेटिव प्रोबेबिलिटी में रखना है सेम तो सेकंड वैल्यू कैसे फाइंड करना है तो पहले ये वैल्यू एंड ये वैल्यू ऐड करना है यहाँ पे आंसर आपको मिल जाएगा यहाँ पे डाल देना है और थर्ड वैल्यू का कैसे ये एंड ये वैल्यू ऐड करना है यहाँ पे डालना है तो ये वैल्यू हो जाएगा तो ये ऐसा आप करते जाइए तो आपको ईजिली क्यूमलेटिव प्रोबेबिलिटी फाइंड हो जाए नेक्स्ट रैंडम डिजिट असाइनमेंट नाउ कंसिडर द नंबर विच आर आफ्टर द डेसिमल एंड राइट इट एट द राइट साइड ऑफ द आर डी ए सो वन टू फाइव टू फाइव जीरो थ्री सेवन फाइव फाइव डबल जीरो सिक्स ट्वेंटी फाइव सेवन फिफ्टी एट सेवेंटी फाइव जीरो 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 नाउ वी आर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम वन सो कंसिडर इट एज वन वी नीड टू मेक द इंटरवल्स हिया फर्स्ट इंटरवल इज फ्रॉम वन टू वन ट्वेंटी फाइव नेक्स्ट from 126 to 250 then 251 to 375 next 376 to 500 501 to 625 626 to 750 751 to 875 876 to now this is the second step that is to determine service time distribution table and here we need four columns that is serial number 
probability cumulative probability random digit assignment now from the question the service time varies from 1 to 6 minute apart so we are writing 1 to 6 here so the probability value for each customer is 1 by 6 and the decimal value of 1 by 6 is 0.16 and cumulative probability and random digit assignment can be calculated same how we are calculated in the first step okay now moving to the third step this is the third step to compute arrival time from inter arrival time here we need four columns that is customer numbers random digits inter arrival time and arrival time now random digits are given in the question random digits for arrival time are given here so they are 9 and uh, just copy down these values in the table 3 here the first value of random digit is always zero for the arrival time and there are 10 terms so we are considering customer numbers up to 10 okay now inter arrival time the first value for random digit is zero so we are considering it as zero only or dash and uh, inter arrival time for the second customer is calculated as just take 913 and go to the first table and check where 913 lies 913 lies in the last row that is value is 8 so we are writing the inter arrival time for second customer is 8 now for third customer just take the value of random digit that is 727 now check go to the first table and check where 727 lies it lies in the sixth row so the value is 6 for the third customer and calculate same for the other values also okay now arrival time can be calculated same as the cumulative probability that is just add the add these two and put here so the first inter arrival time is zero so we are considering it is zero and uh, now just add these two and put here now add these two and put here that is 8 now this is the fourth step that is to compute service time here we need three column service number random digits service time random digits are given in the question and they are 10 so we are considering 1 to 10 and service time can be calculated as take the value 84 and go to the step 2 and uh, check where 84 lies okay that is where 84 lies in the sixth row so the service time is 6 continue for the other values and you will get the result okay now moving to the step 5 that is simulation table okay now here we need this much columns and uh, the formula for calculating these terms are given here and uh, arrival time and service time can be known from the previous steps now solving for the first customer time service begin the first customer is arriving at 0 so time service begin at 0 and uh, waiting time is also 0 for the first customer and time service end is 6 okay 
you just use this formula to calculate the now time spent in a system is 6 and ideal time is 0 okay that is there is no uh, time service end at the previous and uh, so 0 and uh, time service begin is 0 so 0 minus 0 is 0 the value is 0 and uh, calculate for the other value also and uh, time service begin is calculated as compare time service end for the previous one and arrival time of this one which is greater you just keep those value and compare 6 and 8 so 8 is greater I am going to put 8 here ok now waiting time is 0 and the time service end will be 9 and time spent in a system is 1 and idle time is 2 that is time service end for the previous one is 6 so 6 minus sorry 6 and time service begin for this is 8 to so 8 minus 6 is 2 so the value is 2 continue for the other values ok you just remember these formulas these will help you in solving single channel queuing system problems ok and you can find the notes on these in the in the link given in the description okay thank you